to another Sunday School Short. Today we're in Luke 12 and 13, walking through the New Testament chronologically the way it happened, the way it was written. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification uh, for new videos when they come out. Share this Devo with someone that needs a daily devotion, needs time in God's Word. Get into God's Word. This is a supplement, not a substitute for your time in God's Word. Luke 12. Jesus talking about hypocrisy here. He's speaking to the crowd. Then he turns to his disciples and he says in verse 3, Whatever is said in the dark will be heard in the light, and whatever is whispered behind closed doors will be shouted from the housetops for all to hear. Don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body. Fear God who has power to kill you and then throw you into hell. Verse 8, Anyone who acknowledges me in public on earth... The Son of Man will also acknowledge that person in the presence of God's angels, and vice versa. If you fail to acknowledge God or you, you reject God on earth, he will reject you. Uh, when brought on trial, don't worry about what to say. Verse 12, the Holy Spirit will teach you at that time what needs to be said. And Jesus goes on to talk about greed. He tells the story of a rich man who has abundant crops. Uh, I don't have enough room to store it all. I'll tear down my barns and build, build bigger ones. I'll take it easy, I'll eat and drink and be merry. Verse 12, uh, excuse me, verse 20. But God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. Then who will get all you've worked for? And Jesus says, a person is a fool who stir stores up earthly wealth, but does not have a rich relationship with God. Verse 21. It doesn't say that wealth is a bad thing. It doesn't say don't plan for the future. It just says if you don't have a relationship with God. Verse 22 through 34. It talks about worry. The ravens, they eat, they don't plant, they don't harvest. Can all your worries even add a single moment to your life? It goes on to talk about food and clothing. The lilies are more better... Uh, were more better clothed than Solomon and himself. Verse 30, those things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. Hello, but over all over the world, but our Father already knows your needs. And 31, I love this. This is a memory verse. Seek, the, seek first the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Uh, by giving to those in need, you're storing up treasures in heaven. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart is also. Verse 35 through 48, Jesus speaks of his coming. And he says in 37, The servant who is ready and waiting for his return will be rewarded. He may come in the middle of the night or may come just before dawn. But whenever he comes, he will reward those who are ready. Be ready. Be in God's word. No what uh, the things of God, what he's talking about. His word is life. Get into God's word daily. Get into the New Testament. Get ahead of me. I read the daily, uh, the Blue Letter Bible, daily reading, chronological plan. Good app. Uh, he will reward the servants that are ready. For the Son of Man will come when least expected. So we got to be ready. Have you trusted Jesus to forgive you of your sin? Do you know that he has eternal life and he offers that to those who believe that he truly took their place? He talks about the master and servant relationship and the servant should be prepared for the master's returning and carrying out what the master wants even though the master's not there. When someone has been given much, much is required. And in verses uh, 49 through 53, in 51, Jesus says, Do you think I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I have come to divide people against each other. And that's kind of hard to hear sometimes. But when we parallel that with those verses that talk about um, your love for me should be, uh, or your love for other people should be like hate. Like your, your mother and father and women, and your wife and your children and your brothers and sisters. That should seem like hate compared to how much you love me. And he's not saying that you should hate all these people. He's just saying the comparativeness of it. Um, yes, even their own life. Such a person cannot be my disciple. So even if you love your own life, if you love your, your mother, father, your wife, your children, or your brother or sister too much... Um, that is not the being devoted to God. And he, again, he's just speaking of this in comparative terms. Uh, if you love the things of this world 
more than me. He goes on to talk about that. Jesus talks about people that died and were put to death by authorities. Were they the worst sinners in all of Jerusalem? This is the start of Luke 13. No, I tell you, I tell you again that unless you repent, you too will perish. And this is you're gonna everybody's gonna physically die, but we are who we are not only physically, but we are who we are spiritually. So you'll die apart from Jesus taking your place, from him dying in your place. Verses 10 through 17, a woman bent over by, because she was possessed by an evil spirit for 18 years, Jesus saw her and said, you are healed of your sickness, verse 12. And the leader of the synagogue said, hey, you healed her on the Sabbath. Jesus said, you hypocrites, each of you works on the Sabbath. She's been in bondage by Satan for 18 years. Isn't it right that she be released even on the Sabbath? And this shamed his enemies, and the people rejoiced. Jesus was asked by someone, um, Will only a few be saved? Verses 23. And he responds, Work hard to enter the narrow door of the kingdom, of God's kingdom. For many will try to enter, but they will fail. And in 25, When the master has locked the door, Listen up. It will be too late. You will say, Lord, open the door for us. And the reply will be, I don't know you. Get away from me, all you who do evil. Verse 27. Uh, some who seem least important now will be the greatest then, and some who are the greatest now will be the least important then. Get into God's Word. Um, become a daily Bible reader. Get in the Proverbs. Get in the Psalms. Get ahead of me in this uh, Blue Letter Bible app, daily reading chronologically. Like, subscribe, and share. God bless you.